Good evening and welcome to Monday's edition of the Regional News. We begin with news from Venezuela. Venezuela has cancelled the passports of dozens of journalists and activists since President Nicolas Maduro claimed a re-election victory, part of what right group says is an intensifying campaign of repression against the authoritarian president's opponents. At least 40 people, mostly journalists and human rights activists, have had their passports annulled without explanation. The group warned that the number of people who have had their passports cancelled is likely to be much higher due to Venezuelans' fear of reporting cases. People have had their passports confiscated by authorities while attempting to board flights from the country's main airport. Unlike murder or torture, which have a higher political cost, the government has found that passport cancellation is an effective way of neutralizing and muffling critical voices with minimal effort. We tell you now that six transplant patients tested positive for HIV after receiving infected organs from the Rio de Janeiro Organ Donation Service, state officials said on Sunday. The Rio Health Secretary's Office said a laboratory responsible for conducting tests on donated organs had been suspended after the organs from two donors were transplanted into six people on the state's waiting list for transplants. Other transplant patients were being screened to see if the organs they received were infected, and all stored organs from donors are being tested back to December 2023 when the lab was hired. Police, however, are investigating who was responsible for the two erroneous organ tests. We conclude with news from Trinidad. Mother of two, Laura Sankar, has been murdered. Sankar, 34, was chopped to death at the family home near Princess Town on Saturday night. A close male relative was arrested at the house. The killing happened during a dispute at Post Office Trace of St. Julian Trace near New Grant. Her killing happened on the day that the funeral was held for Tara Ramsroop and her daughter, who were attacked at a house in Rig Road, Arakpur, last week. Post-mortem examinations found the 34-year-old mother of four died from multiple chop wounds, while Jada died from a chop wound to the neck. Rishi Motilal, 29, of Rig Road, Arakpur, appeared before the court on Friday, charged with her murder and the murder of Jada. I am Carice Gonzalez. Thank you for watching.